Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a user interview. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is an empathy and understanding tool. It got the following characteristics. It allows to know and analyze in a personal way a possible user or customer to understand their expect expectations, needs, and characteristics. The tool is used in the empathy stage in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. This tool allows us to know important details of the person that is being interviewed and their behavior regarding their context and determinate situation. The interview is a tool that comes from a journalist, allows objectively meet a potential user or client in a project. The interview for a project or business idea has some characteristics very particular that we'll, we will explain in this video. Okay, so when we are gonna make a user interview, the first thing that we do is to know what I want to know. Because it's not the same to interview a person for a specific purpose that if I'm looking for something. So if I'm developing a product, a service, or a business model, it's very important that I have very clear what I want to know about the user, about their behavior, about all the things that are important for the project. So there are two roles when you make an interview. Is uh, there is the interviewer and the interviewed. It's very important if I'm making the interview, I have to observe not only what the person is telling me with their mouth, but with their body. This is a non-verbal language because sometimes people are telling something, but you see their behavior and they are telling me something different. So it's very important that you analyze that behavior. So if you want to record the interview, it's very important because sometimes at the moment you don't see the behavior or of the person. After a while, you analyze and you realize what was going on. So when you have the role clear, it's very important that you develop a script. The script is very important because it will guide the interview. So you know what to do and everything is focused on what I want to know about the person, about their behavior, about the environment, about everything. So when you start developing the interview and you develop your script, I strongly recommend to be very accurate in the questions that you want to make. So try to make a interview of not more than 8, 10 questions, always start with the general and they go to the particular or something very specific. Make open questions. It means that the person have the opportunity to talk as much as they want. Because if you make yes, no questions, the things will be very specific and is better if you make a questionnaire about that, not an interview. So always try to focus and lead the interview to make the people talk and express themselves. Always try to record so you can analyze the information later. The interaction, it has to be very natural. Make feel the other person very um, calm, give their confidence so they can talk regardless of their position is about anything. It's very important that the script is written, yeah? So you can have, perhaps you can have like 10, 8, 10 questions, but try to have a backup, a backup because maybe something could come up. So try to figure it out that. After you make your questions and you have your results, it's very important that you analyze those results. When you make an interview, sometimes it could be a small group of just four or five people. It could be just one person, 
but it's always very important that that information can focus and take decisions about the project that you are developing. So if you want to make graphics, if you want to make illustrations with the information and with the findings that you got, that's important. But if you want to use some other resources are also very important as well. So the important thing here is that you can know your customer, know your user with the questions that you are making. It's very important and you have to understand that the time of the people, it's it cost. Yeah. So if someone is agreed to give you an interview, try to be very accurate with the questions and not make something very long because the people would get bored. So the thing is like people uh, keep energized and have a good time, but with a time that is very, very narrow and focused. As a conclusion, we can say that after completing the interview, the user can be better understood or potential customer regarding their context, needs or behavior. The interview allows us to understand in a way objective the expectations of a user and also its uh, behavior, verbal behavior and nonverbal regarding certain situations. Very important to analyze not just what the people are telling with their mouth when they are speaking, but also with the components of their body and how are they acting. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember, every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one Design Thinking and Agile Methodologies channel in YouTube. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time.